Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, March 2nd, 2012. We begin with news from the world of technology. Researchers at the University of New South Wales have beaten Moore's Law by creating a stable single atom transistor. Moore's Law approximately predicts that the number of transistors that can be placed in a commercially available chip will double every 18 months. A transistor is a semiconductor that amplifies or switches an electrical signal. In this study, a single phosphorus atom precisely placed in a silicon crystal acts as a transistor amplifier. Single atom transistors have been produced accidentally before, but the position of the atom could not be defined exactly until now. This virtually perfect transistor could significantly improve the efficiency of computers, although challenges still remain before mass production can occur. And from the field of astrophysics, the X-ray satellite observatory Chantarajas found a stellar mass black hole with winds of unprecedented speed of around 3% the speed of light, or 20 million miles per hour. Wind of a black hole refers to the material ejected from its accretion disk, the incandescent cosmic dust and gas spiraling into a black hole. This result is surprising on multiple levels. The recorded beads are comparable to those of supermassive black holes, and it was unexpected for such relatively small objects to produce similar winds. These winds are throwing away from the event horizon of the black hole around 95% of the material on the accretion disk, so the popular view that black holes devour anything they can attract fails in this case. Also unexpected is the fact that the wind is blowing from multiple directions. No jet was present. The absence of a jet is in agreement with previous observations claiming that black hole winds suffocate the jet emission. Astronomers believe that the production of both winds and jets depend on the magnetic fields in the black hole's disks, and the geometry of this magnetic field would determine whether wind or jet is produced. Our final story is an update from the world of material science. A team at the University of Massachusetts have successfully mimicked gecko-like adhesion. For many years, actually, scientists have been trying to replicate the properties of gecko feet. They have enough adhesive force that a 5-ounce lizard could hold 9 pounds against a smooth surface. Previous attempts at gecko-like material involved mimicking the microscopic hair-like appendages on their feet. However, this team took a different approach instead looking at the entire foot, such as the skeleton, muscle, and tendons. To mimic this, it was essentially a soft adhesive pad woven into a stiff fabric also containing artificial tendons. The resulting material, called gek skin, can hold a 42-inch TV to glass with an index card-sized patch, with the potential to hold even more weight. It's also easy to reverse and totally reusable. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.